And um, I want to talk about rapid breakthroughs and um, Marcus Bieber, who has been talking about record setting. He's been calling this a record setting year, record setting, record set or record, uh, record breaking, rep record breaking, record setting. And many of you know that when there's a record, it's often broken by someone who comes and breaks the record, record setting, record breaking. That's what we're believing God for. So as I heard him say this, this word, um, I typed in, sometimes what I do is I type in a phrase to try to find a scripture for it. So I typed in a uh, record breaking scriptures and I really didn't find anything much. I found a few messages online. Uh, you're a record breaking God. God is a record breaker. I found a message called you are a record breaker that was preached. I don't even remember by the, by some individual. Just a couple. I thought that was interesting that there have been messages preached on God is a record breaking God and you are a record breaker. But I really couldn't find any scriptures specifically. You know, if you, if you type in scriptures for healing, you get a lot that come up. If you type in scriptures for faith, you get a lot that comes up. Uh, if you type in scriptures, uh, for, um, prosperity, you get a lot of scriptures that come up. But I really couldn't find anything that specifically said record breaking. And then I thought one of my favorite scriptures, and that is found in Micah 2.13, the breaker shall go before you. And I preached on that, talked on that, confessed that Jesus, the Messiah is the breaker. It's really a picture of a, a leader going before his people, breaking through a gate or breaking through a barrier and leading his people out. So the Lord spoke to my heart and said, that's a good record breaking scripture. So I said, yes, um, I want to, I want to use that one. Um, record breaking year based on Micah 213, record setting, record breaking. And then of course, David called the Lord Bel, per, per, Bel Perizim, which means the Lord of the breakthrough. And I've told on this before. One of the names of the Lord is the Lord of the breakthrough, the Lord of the breakthrough. And uh, we often talk about breakthroughs and I've been, I've been thinking recently because of these water projects, I've been doing a lot of study on water, um, different, wa different sources of water. I've studied so many different things. I've learned so much about water. It's amazing. And one of the things I began to study was the subject of dams because often they build dams in rivers to provide hydroelectric power. First of all, I was surprised at the number of dams that are in existence. There's, there's hundreds of thousands of dams worldwide on so many different rivers. And, um, there are very large dams. There are smaller dams. For instance, in America, you hear of the Hoover Dam, which is a dam that they, that they have to, to dam the Colorado River that provides electricity to Nevada and, um, and California and water to those places. And so then I began to think about there, there, there have been incidences when there's been a breakage, uh, when a dam breaks. And that has historically happened. When a dam breaks and there's a rushing of water, there's a flood of water that comes. There have actually been some dams that have broken that have killed thousands of people in the history, of, at least of America, probably in other nations as well. When a large dam breaks, the water just floods. So I thought, I thought of a, a rapid breakthrough, like the breaking of a dam, like something has been held back. Water is collect, collecting in the dam in, in a reservoir. When they build a, a dam, there's a lake or reservoir that forms behind the walls of the dam from the flowing river. And then sometimes that, that water, of course, is released. Uh, at certain periods to provide electric power, a certain amount is released. But when a dam breaks, it means all of that water comes rushing out with such tremendous force until it is unstoppable and uncontrollable. 
So I thought about a breakthrough like that. And think of this, if a dam breaks, the water moves rapidly. It moves quickly because it's been held back. Uh, it has been curtailed from its usual flow. It is built up so much pressure. And if the walls of the dam break, then that water moves rapidly. So that's the picture I want you to see of rapid breakthroughs or breakthroughs that happen quickly, suddenly. And many, many of you have been experiencing, uh, it's like a dam uh, that has been holding back some blessings, prosperity, finances. Um, and as a result, there's not been a flow into your life of blessings, prosperity, finances. But, but I, I felt as if the Lord was saying that the dam is about to break for you, that there's coming a rapid breakthrough, that much of what has been held back. Now, sometimes it's been held back by, I believe, demons and demonic power that have tried to block, hinder, obstruct. I talked about this scripture in Proverbs 13 and 12, that, that hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. So sometimes our hopes, our dreams, our finances, our prosperity, our business has been delayed, deferred. It could be because of lack of approval. It could be because of lack of, of assistance, lack of help. It could be because people have opposed it. Let's see if you're in business. Whatever it is, when the break comes, when the breakthrough comes, it happens rapidly. So that's what I'm decreeing today. Rapid breakthroughs, rapid breakthroughs, rapid breakthroughs for you that, that the Lord will come, uh, when he said, Baal Perizim, David called when he won victory, said the Lord has broken forth on my enemies. Baal Perizim means the Lord of the breakthrough or another translation says the master of the breakthrough. And I, I preached on this before. Our God is the master of breakthroughs. Think of that. He is not just a breakthrough God. He is the master of breakthroughs, which means that no matter what is, is, is holding something back, the Lord is the master of breakthroughs. He, he has the key to breakthrough. Nothing can stop the Lord from breaking through. No matter how difficult it is, how complex it is, how strong it is, the Lord is the master of breakthroughs. He's our master of the breakthrough and he will break through for us. And the, I, I, let me say it this way. The master of the breakthrough will release rapid breakthroughs. Let me say that again. The master of the breakthrough will release rapid breakthroughs. One more time. The master of the breakthrough will release rapid breakthroughs. That's a prophetic decree for you today. I want you to begin to say that. The master of the breakthrough will release rapid breakthroughs. I'm going to, I'm going to post that on my status today. The master of the breakthrough. The Lord is the, Jesus is the master of breakthrough. It's going to release, it's going to release rapid breakthrough for you. Begin to confess it. Begin to decree it. Begin to speak it. Begin to prophesy it. Begin to declare it. Begin to believe it. Not only will you have breakthroughs in whatever area, health, finances, family, ministry, business, in your area, your city, your region, your nation, your territory, but they'll be rapid. They'll come quickly. The dam will break. The waters will burst forth. The Lord will burst through and break through every barrier, every wall, every opposition that has stood before you. Let there be rapid breakthroughs causing revival. Let there be rapid breakthroughs of glory. Let there be rapid breakthroughs of miracles. Let there be rapid breakthroughs in healings and even rapid medical breakthroughs and rapid cures coming for diseases and even for cancer. Let there be rapid breakthroughs in the area of cancer. Let there be rapid breakthroughs in difficult problems that scientists and medicines and doctors have not been able to solve. 
Let there be rapid breakthroughs in economic problems. Let there be rapid breakthroughs in nations where there's been poverty and lack. Let there be rapid breakthroughs in economies and, and rapid breakthroughs in industry and rapid breakthroughs in business and rapid breakthroughs in technology. Let there be rapid breakthroughs. Let us come into a season of rapid breakthroughs. Things are speeding up, people. The rate of change is speeding up. And that's why we must always be relevant. We must always be willing to change and transition. You cannot allow the world to speed up and you remain stagnant inside. The rate of change in around you cannot exceed the rate of change inside of you. If the rate of change around you, uh, if it exceeds the rate of change in you, then you're going to become irrelevant. You're going to get left behind. You're going to become stagnant. You're going to become obsolete. You're going to be, you're going to, you're going to be in the past. If the rate of change, but if the rate of change in you and really a pioneer is really, let me say it this way, pioneers, the rate of change in a pioneer is even quicker than the rate of change that's going on around them. Pioneers are always ahead. They're always in the future. Amen. I promise that we're pioneers. We're prophetic pioneers. We're apostolic pioneers. We're always in the future. We're visionaries. We're dreamers. We're always in the future. We're always ahead. God is always in the future. He's always ahead. He's always decreeing something new. We're not going to become irrelevant. And so I want you to know that, the, that, that there's rapid change, rapid transition, rapid breakthroughs. And if you are not ready to move speedily and quickly and suddenly and rapidly and keep pace, if you get tired and weary and just say, I don't want, I'm tired of these new things that are being released, whether it's technology, finances, wealth, business, then you're going to get left behind, people of God. Let's not allow ourselves to get left behind. The Holy Spirit will help you to not only keep pace, but to move forward and to move forward quickly and to be ahead so that you'll not be behind. So I prophesy that and decree that today, rapid breakthroughs, bursting forth of new ideas, new revelation, new insight, new, new, new strategies, new blueprints, uh, new ways of doing things, even in the church and in the kingdom. Let there be rapid advancement. Father, I thank you for rapid movement, rapid success, rapid increase. Uh, we decree rapid breakthroughs in the lives of the people that are listening and watching today. Thank you, Father, as they sow, as they give. Lord, there's rapid multiplication in your seed sown, rapid increase in your finances, rapid increase in harvest. Uh, let, let there be rapid freedom and rapid restoration and rapid recovery and, and rapid healings and and rapid answers to your prayers and rapid solutions to problems. Father, we have been decreeing rapid breakthroughs in the lives of God's people in this month of May. Father, we thank you for doing something for us rapidly. Let those who felt as if they've been left behind and they can't keep up, let them catch up rapidly. Let them catch up as in a race when the person is last. Let them catch up, Lord, and go to the front. Let there be rapid movement, rapid navigation, rapid going around barriers and breaking through barriers. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this rapid season that you are moving us into. We decree it. We speak it. We prophesy it. We believe it. We thank you for it. We bless you for it. And we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Now, it's important, people, that you get this. Get this. Get this in your mouth. Get this in your mouth. Let your, let your faith be developed for record setting, record breaking, rapid, rapid breaking, ra rapid, rapid movement, rapid breaking, rapid breakthroughs. Get your heart into this. Begin to believe it. God is doing something new in our lives and God is preparing us for, to move very rapidly and quickly into some new things and new places and new positions and, and projects being finished rapidly, building projects for pastors and building projects for businesses and businesses coming forth rapidly, rapid millionaires and rapid billionaires and, and rapid increases and, 
in the marketplace. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. I feel the anointing as I'm saying this, people of God. Let's grab this. Let's not lag behind. Let's not become obsolete. Let's not become irrelevant. Let's not become those who've been left behind. Let's not be a dinosaur in the spirit. Amen. Let's not be Jurassic. Okay. Let's not be a dinosaur. Let's not be Jurassic. We're not Jurassic. We're pioneers. We're trailblazers. We're pathfinders. We're, we're moving ahead. We're moving fast. We're, we're not going to be left behind. We're not tired. We're not worn out. We're not beaten down. Even as we get older, God is re renewing our youth like the eagle. And God's going to do it for some of you, even in your older age. Don't think because I'm in my fifties, my sixties and seventies, it can't happen for me. Listen, you can have rapid breakthroughs even as you get older. And it's for the young, it's for the old, it's for those who grab this word by in faith and begin to believe God for it. I prophesy it, I decree it, and I release it today in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much again. I'm enjoying this whole series. And for those on Facebook live, I'm going to sign off of Facebook. I'm going to continue for a few minutes in Clubhouse and just discuss this with those in Clubhouse. God bless you. And as always, the departing for those on Facebook, God bless you and double shalom.